Hello and welcome to my channel, How I Move the Decimal. In today's video, I am photographing slides to sell on eBay and I'm doing it on my dining room table. I'm a part-time reseller on eBay. My husband and I list and sell items very sporadically. Um, <clears throat> we're better as we've gotten over the years or as our children have gotten older and we need more expendable income, we do list more things on eBay, but it's still very, very part-time. I don't think I would ever go full-time on eBay. I am not a fan of inconsistency. I'm very much um, like, like what I know, like to feel assured that I'm going to get a paycheck. So, um, plus the cost of insurance is insane and children need insurance. We've been sick consistently since October 25th when we got diagnosed with COVID. And at this point, we probably need a punch card or a rewards card to the prompt care by our house. They've seen each family member at least twice since October 25th between COVID and influenza A um, and then laryngitis, which you can kind of tell. You can kind of still hear from me. I am coughing and don't really have a voice, which is great because this is not a busy time at all at work for me. And I totally have time to rest because December is never busy for our families at all. Nothing's going on. No big deal. This past weekend, I ran a 5K and I woke up with a fever of 101 that morning and still ran it. Ran it. And this coming weekend, we have more stuff going on. Today is the first day all three of my children have been back to school in a very long time. So I was having a child at home. Hence the lack of YouTube videos being put up because I can't record these with uh, multiple children at home. I can with my oldest, but he's been back at school the longest and my youngest has been home the most. So that's where we stand with making videos. <clears throat> the One of the things I wanted to talk about is lackluster sales on eBay. And I was talking with another group of moms at tumbling class and like they were talking about where they shop for Black Friday and Cyber Monday and all that stuff and where they're continuing to shop. Almost all of them say Amazon, hands down Amazon. A couple did say Etsy, but they were for very specific handmade items. They were not for vintage items. They were not for resale items. Um, nobody said Poshmark. Nobody said eBay. The but when I was like pushing them a little more because these are strangers to me and they don't know that I sell on eBay. But I was like, oh, you know, have you thought about looking for that on eBay? And a lot of them just didn't trust it, especially this time of year. One of the ladies was also went on a tangent about how she had ordered something on eBay last year and it never got to her. It was mailed and she didn't get it till after the first of the year because eBay, depending on how we ship, relies on the U.S. Postal Service, um, UPS, FedEx, so on and so forth. So she overall, they seemed the mom seemed kind of wary, didn't trust it, were worried they were going to buy knockoffs when they thought they were buying the real thing. Um, the and then part of me is like, well, if you think you're going to get the real thing for that cheap, maybe you should look to make sure. But um, it really wasn't their priority. But when I listened a little more and asked a couple more questions, they were more willing to shop on eBay for themselves after the holiday. So the time crunch, they don't want to deal with disappointment. There's very specific things they know they want pre-Christmas, pre-holiday, then um, after, they're more willing to spend the money they receive for Christmas on eBay. And I will say I'm also a victim of this. Um, our washing machine, we have an LG washing machine and our door lock broke. And apparently this is a very common thing. Ironically, it broke 27 days after our 10-year warranty expired. <laughs> So, uh, it was a $12 part on Amazon and I needed to buy a $13 tool to make my life easier. 
I think I could have done it without the $13 tool, but I think it would have taken a very long time. There would have been a lot of frustrations and possibly calling of divorce lawyers. So we got the tool and the part for around $26 on Amazon. And even though I bought this during their peak, like Black Friday, Cyber Monday deal stuff, I still got the part and the tool within two days. The I was looking for the same exact thing, same part, same tool. It was more difficult to find the part on eBay, but I found it. I think I found it on eBay. And it was going to take seven to ten business days to get to me. When you have a family of five and a non-working washing machine, it gets very difficult seven to ten days out. So I didn't have the luxury of buying that on eBay. It was something I needed right away. It was something our local hardware stores did not have in stock. Otherwise, I would have got it there. Um, I was buying a you know, aftermarket part. This was not an LG name brand part. This was um, off-brand or knockoff or whatever you want to call it part. So, um, and ironically, if my washing machine still had a warranty, I would have avoided it by putting this part on. That being said, changing the door lock on your LG washer, super easy. And for $26, I saved myself a ton of money. Just, I was calling repair companies and just getting somebody out was going to be $250. Just to have them walk into my garage and say, hey, your washer is broken. Not counting parts, not counting labor. So, um, but I'm an avid eBay seller. If I look at my past 100 purchases on the internet, maybe four are from eBay. So that kind of tells you where we are, why sales might be slow. Do I like Amazon better? No. Is it more reliable? Yeah. Will I get the stuff I need quicker? Yeah. If it's something that I don't need right away and I can wait, then I will order that off of eBay. And that's why I think I see, I personally will see a spike in my sales in January and February, opposed to November and December, because people are not scrambling to buy my stuff as presents. And honestly, overall, I don't think people are really using eBay that much for presents, unless it's something very unique that they can't find anywhere. Kind of like the moms are talking about Etsy with the handmade stuff. A lot of it had to do with embroidery. And I didn't realize people still like monogrammed things, but apparently that's a deal still. So that is that. And thank you for watching my video. And please like and subscribe and watch some of my other videos. Have a wonderful day.